the Barbell Investment Plan for Retirement. All right, this is going to be part four, where we talk about taking 6% distributions, but then we're going to have a 10% decline in spending in year starting year 11. So let's see how this shakes out. It'll be kind of interesting. So let me get my mug out of the way here. So uh, last time we did a 6%, uh, we just did 6% a year. Again, we're starting with $500,000. We did 6% a year, which is $30,000 the first year, $30,000 adjusted for real-time inflation. Uh, so you can see it's 30000 year one, 30390 year two, and so on and so on. And we ran out of money in, in 1987. So it's still 25 years, man. Not too shabby. Now a 6% distribution. Uh, we're going to we have five years of cash, and we're going to reduce spending by, uh, uh, by 10% in year 10. So everything will stay the same as the last video. But now in year 10, our spending was went from 30000 uh, let's see, where is that? Right there to 37000 And let's see here. Hold on a second. 3436. Right here. I'm sorry. It went from 30000 to 38557 in year, was that year 70? Then in year 71, it dropped by uh, 10%. Okay, there you go. So it went from 30000 to 30300 blah, 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 all the way up to 38570 and then 36228 All right, so let's see how this shakes out. So now, in this case, in, in the year is 1972, we need uh, 36228 because we're, we reduced our spending by 10% at the end of year 10. Times that by five, uh, by five, because that's how many years we need it. And, we're, and what are the differences between this number, the leftover from the previous year, and that number? And we need 179,000 bucks. And we're going to pull that from our portfolio, which the preceding year was up to 574,000. Had a good year in uh, 1972. And then we take that one. So we have 574 times by the 18.98% and value grew and subtract by 179. So we have 504 is the amount of money we have left. So let's take a look what it was last time. Uh, 504 this time where we want to go this way, right? Yeah. And we were one two at uh, four eighty, so we have twenty four thousand dollars more than we had uh, without doing the reduction in spending. So it'll be interesting to see how this shakes out. All right, so five oh four. All right, so now we come down, and then in year fifteen we need fifty thousand eight seventy three times that by five. Uh, so we need roughly two hundred fifty thousand from a portfolio which previously was worth five thirty seven. But we're down 7.18% in value. So 537 minus 7.18% value minus the amount of money we need to replenish the bank, the, uh, the cash plate, uh, which means we're left with $246,000. And that's in 1977. What were we before? 1977, we were down to 199. So yeah, we, uh, we have definitely a significant uh, boost of where we were last time. 246 and 199. <laughs> All right, so now we fast forward to 1981. Uh, we need 81,005 times. And this is what this says right here. How much do we need? Well, we need 81,005 times, which gives us roughly $406,000. We had $390,000 left in the portfolio, but thankfully we still had money left because the beginning of the biggest bull market in the history of mankind was upon us. So that 390 grew by 21% which meant that we had uh, we had 390 times 21% uh, minus the 406. We still had $68,000 left, which meant we did not run out of money. Look at that, man. Oh, th this is going to be good. And we're going to run out of money, I guarantee you. But, and so we, had, uh, we were able to replenish our cash bucket. And then five years later, and this is 1987, we still had $147,000 left in the account. And that is when, uh, no, I'm sorry, 1988, we still had $171,000 left in the account. So we had, and that's when we ran out of money. By this point, we had two more years. So here we ran out of money in 1991. Almost 30 years, my friends. 30, we all, everything, we had 6% distributions. We just had one small reduction in expenses in 10 years. And we had money left over uh, until 1991. We had enough money to provide us income until 1991 during this horrific time frame for investments. It's fantastic. All right. So uh, that's good. So the reduction in spending accounts for a lot. And we're not talking huge, man. I mean, in real terms, uh, in terms of the actual dollar amount, it dropped from 30, what was it, 38,557 to 36,228. 
you know, that's 10%, but in, in, uh, that's, you know, 2000 bucks a year. I mean, that's it. That's not much, man. I mean, that's just, that's 10% reduction a year. That's not much. All right. So stay tuned. Now we're going to do 5% distributions. I think, uh, I think you know where this is going and that this is going to be good. And uh, so let's see how that shakes out. I'll right, we'll see you next time.